Hello learners, welcome back again. So we are continuing with the block styler and I will show you one more example in block styler. So the example in this video is colored block. If you go to this folder, you will see two files. One is C sharp file and another is .vv file. So we have code available in both the files. So we can work with any of this. That is perfectly fine. But the DLX file is missing here. So what we need to do, we need to go to the sample NX open applications folder. Go inside C++ block styler colored block. And from here, we can copy the dlx file so i'm copying this file and going to paste it inside dotnet folder inside here now as we got the dlx file we can either work with uh, either vb file or cs file so let's work with vb file itself I'm going to open this VB file in Visual Studio. We don't need to have a DLL file. We don't need to have a project here because it's just one file and that we can open without even creating a project. But as usual, we have to change the file name of a dialog. Uh, this uh, block us uh, block styler file with the file path so i am copying this and i'm going to make this change here sorry i have copied the vv file path but instead i need the dlx file path so i will keep this like this and we'll save this this is not a project so we don't need to create a dll file now inside nx i will go to menu tools journal and play here i will browse the folder And I will pick up the VB file. And I am going to run it. This will uh, definitely going to open a dialog for us. So this is the dialog. Now in this dialog, there is height, width, length, and as well as the origin. And specify block color. So you can see there is a color palette we can use inside this block. Press OK here. And we also need to specify the block origin. So point dialog. Let's pick up this point. So you can notice uh, as I have picked up this point, this OK button has got enabled. Earlier it was not part working. But, uh, earlier it was disabled. Okay. So I can now go and press OK. It will do something. Yeah. It is going to create the block. So I'm starting from the point that I have provided as, as a reference. So this. Um, this block styler example creates a block with a defined color and also defined size. Let us use this one more time. Tools, journal, play. I am going to pick up the same one and going to run it. 
now this time what i will do i will instead of creating a cube i will create with some other size and we'll use this point as a starting point and this time we'll use this color and click okay so you can see this is how it creates a block and you can even see that inside part navigator this is a block that is created if i right click and go and edit the parameters for this block it's even possible so this is a, a dialog for the standard block creation how we create it uh, using the nx feature but the earlier block that we saw it was a custom uh, dialog with uh, custom blocks there okay but it is more or less copying the same thing uh, it is little bit of simpler version of this this standard bl uh, block creation dialog okay i hope this is uh, enough for you to understand about this example i will see you in the next example bye bye for now and good luck